camera to say tonight, this morning, here at Shea Fritz, we're gonna be making some chocolate Olo brownies. And you guys get to see one of the crowd favorites. Okay, well, while he is um, chopping up this chocolate, I'm gonna be the cameraman today. So what we're gonna do, while we're prepping this chocolate, we're gonna go ahead and take our butter, which you need one stick of butter for this recipe. We're gonna drop this butter in here so that it can go ahead and start to melt. Let me show y'all the time. Y'all gonna be like, hey, always doing something late. Yes, that is the real time. <laughs> but we, um, as y'all, well, as y'all can already, y'all probably already know, little old me is pregnant. I really been in the bed all day, cause I ain't been really good. But it is our three year wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary, babe. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's our three year wedding anniversary. And I love these brownies. So regardless of the time, they love me and my bellies. So I get what I want. Brownies <laughs> at 1 a.m. <laughs> As y'all can see, butter melted. So now we gotta get to it with this chocolate. Y'all may wonder why I'm using a knife, but why dirty up more dishes? <laughs> I'm just saying. I might smell a little chocolate here and there, but at least my dishes clean. You ain't washing my dishes, so don't worry about why I'm using a knife. Cut the temp. Hey, you drop by my good chocolate. Eh. My bad, fam. <laughs> but once it's completely melted, I'm gonna take it off the eye. I'm gonna take it out this double boiler and I'm gonna sit it down on that back eye and let it cool to room temp. Mm, would you like me to turn it over now? Yes, 350. Now our chocolate is completely melted. We're gonna let that come to room temp. And while that's coming to room temp, I'm gonna put the flour back up. Now, you can use either all-purpose flour for this recipe or cake flour. Me personally, I prefer cake flour. Just me, you ain't got to, but I think it makes a difference to me. These brownies be lit, y'all. It's room temp. Now we get to mixing the remaining ingredients. Well, y'all can pretty much watch him do that. I guess I'll talk a little bit. They go. I, I knew you was finna say they go. That singing. Hey, I you. can't sing y'all, but I sing a lot for some odd reason. You know how like you be nervous, so you do, uh, <laughs> so you just do things <laughs> unconsciously. Yeah. So I just be randomly singing and not even realize that I'm singing. I think I be talking. Nope. <laughs> when you listen to music all the time, and you just singing all the time. <laughs> I wish I could sing. <laughs> I can hold a, a, li a little tune. I, I can't sing. <laughs> not really, I'm just going to talk to him like you said. You ain't going to be able to talk over this. Hmm? You're not going to be able to talk over this. We are going to see. Okay. That noise don't seem that loud to me. But anyway, so they said, if I'm going to talk to y'all, then y'all should see me. So here I go. <laughs> anyway, I said I was going to give y'all a couple of tips to a healthy relationship. Well, the two main things that help us a lot, and that is trust and communication. If you got those two things, then y'all going to be all right. What you think, babe? Keep folks out your relationship. People like to judge from the outside, looking in, mm -hmm. but they don't know 
what's going on in the inner work of your relationship. But let's be real here. If you were meeting that, would you take advice on how to get more money from a broke person? I don't think you would. <laughs> also, a lot of people talk about, you know, not going fast and going this slow. I, well, we think, do what you feel. If it feel right, then it might be right. If it's not, then it's not. It's your life. You only got yeah. one life to live. So just remember, you know, even if you, if people tell you that you're moving fast and you think that you're not, then that's your prerogative. Just if you're going to do something like that, do it of your own free will and volition. Don't try to do it because you just are afraid to be single. There is absolutely nothing wrong with being single. Because <laughs> realistically, how can you love somebody else if you don't know how to love yourself nor who you are? You can't. Hey Amen. Man, you better tell them. Being married or being together, period, is a journey. And we've learned a lot and been through a lot. Still got a lot more to learn and still yep. probably have a lot more to go through. But I know this is going to be the one and only bay. I know that. I <laughs> yeah, I almost made the curse on the family channel because I, the kind of amen to that is with a profane word. <laughs> I'm Marine. So I have I have a potty mouth and I'm doing my best to control it so this can remain family friendly. So I think I've been doing pretty good. I don't think I used any profanity on the blog. No. Nope. On the blog. Yeah, on, on the blog. On the blog. Yeah. <laughs> so check that out. Know what now I mean? we on the last step. Look at all that one. chocolate. <laughs> Simple. Chocolate. I'm telling y'all, that's my favorite episode. episode. I don't really like SpongeBob, but that's my favorite episode because it is so funny. Now, we get folded. And that is why you allow this mixture to cool down to room temperature. Because if you don't, as soon as you put your remaining chocolate in, it's going to melt. It doesn't need to melt. Believe me. The first... I can't Half of the first it. block, the first block was more than enough to give you enough chocolate and gooeyness. You, those other chocolate chips, well, chocolate chunks, mm -hmm. you need those to be in the center. So that when you break that, when you cut it, you want it gushing. You don't want just a full chocolate brownie. Nah. Y'all probably gonna see a lot of cooking because, because we, that's that's yeah. what we love to do, especially together. I don't bake a lot because, like I told y'all in the other video, I like to ad lib. Like Baking is precise. Who wants to have a cake that's completely changing and evolving every time? <laughs> oh, let me eyeball it. No, taste and the flavor, the consistency will all be thrown out of whack because you just think you're so cocky and confident. Oh, I can, I, oh, I know what I'm doing. Nah, you don't want to do it. You ain't got to do it. But there's a reason why it comes out the same consistently. This here is going to go in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. With the way I do it, it's 27 on the head. So if you follow my instructions, 27 minutes. Bay had to go handle an emergency. Yes, this late at night. It's literally a family emergency. So I'm gonna take the brownies. brownies are done I pulled them out and I guess this gonna be pretty much it I hope y'all like this vlog I hope it's not too 
rambly. I'm gonna make sure to put the um, recipe for the brownies down in the description. But if you haven't, make sure that you subscribe for more. Don't forget to comment other things that y'all wanna see or comment things y'all wanna hear us talk about. Thanks for all the support. Good night.